it's Robert and Ambassador for Christ. And as you know where I go to Kingdom Goes, remember, as usual, like, subscribe, share, and eat the fish, spit out the bones. And your London accent if you spit out, not spit, but spit out the bones. Some things you may agree with, some things you may not, the usual sort of stuff. Oh yeah, if you see little little things moving around the background, it's not orbs, it's not angels flying around or demons, okay? It's just it's just some dust. Alright? <laughs> That's what it is. The sun's shining through the window, there's little bits of dust flying around. It's not angels, so don't worry about it, alright? Don't get too deep. Another conversation. Um, oh yeah. Uh the appeal is finished, obviously, and uh my brother uh, Colin, he went out into Brighton and fed the homeless and gave out packs and stuff. If you want to go and see that uh, vlog, you can go over to I Am Colin Edwards. It's vlog 6.5. There'll be a link somewhere around. Go there, check it out. Awesome testimony that he gives at the end. And it's an awesome video from beginning to end anyway of make a difference and changing, uh, you know, helping people's lives out in the name of Jesus. Anyway, I want to talk to you today about, oh yeah, what's at me down the bottom as well if you want to um, have a chat. Um, I want to talk to you today about background demons. Background demons. What do you mean background demons? Rob? What are you on about? You see, the kingdom of darkness, there's demons for every anything. There's demons that, that are out there just doing pure madness in different areas, different demons, different names, different they've got different assignments. So I want to talk to you about these demons called these these background demons. They have a certain assignment. Woo, background demons. Okay, let, me, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. It's powerful. What? You see, when Jesus Christ was in his ministry on the earth, and as he was ministering, it says how the Jews would send out lawyers to, or the Jews would come out, the Pharisees and the Sadducees would come out to hear the teachings of Jesus and wait there and see if they can, and see if they can catch him in his words. They would see if they can catch him in his words. So if, they could, if he says something against the law, they would catch him in his words and say, oh, but you've done this wrong. And they was always trying to catch Jesus out. All right. There's another example in the Old Testament. It speaks about how Ahab killed, uh, destroyed the king of Syria, Syria. The king of Syria, his army, King Ahab destroyed his army twice through God's help. OK, then it says how the king of Assyria sent out ambassadors to King Ahab to ask him, basically, you know, for mercy. You destroyed my army twice. Please don't kill me. And now what happened is, is that the, the instruction to the ambassadors was try the, the instruction basically was to the ambassadors. They said uh, the king said to the ambassadors, try and catch King Ahab in his words. OK. So basically what happened is that when the ambassadors came to King Ahab, they said to King Ahab, um, you know, uh, you know, you know, don't kill us. Basically, the king of Syria sent us, you know, please, please have mercy. And King Ahab said, oh, my brother, the king of Syria. And then the ambassador said, yes, yes, yes. Your brother, the king of of um, Syria, your brother. And they start to catch, catch certain words and build upon that words and tear down, you know, the the, the, the the war in between them, you know, the, the you know the division between them, trying to tear it down to you know lift up the king of, king of Assyria to get more mercy. Okay? Bear with me. You can read those stories yourself. Go to your concordance or whatever and have a look. <coughs> now, this is where it gets deep. Back to background demons, what they do. So you can live you could be living for God and having a great time in the Lord. And you ain't getting attacked by evil spirits. Evil spirits ain't doing nothing. You're, you're living a life of peace and everything's perfect. Your worship's on fire. Everything's great. Beware of, back that, beware of the background demons. There's demons in the background. There's good demons in the background. Try to look for a, a something like, um, oh, this will do. <laughs> There's demons in the background. And what they're doing is, I know I'm, I look like a madman, you don't know, looking around like this. I just... Oh, I saw some something. Ah, I better look mad then. But there's some demons in the background with a book and a bit of and a pen and a bit of paper, and they're writing down from afar what you're doing. Writing it down, trying to catch you in something, trying to see a way of how they can penetrate and get into your life. They're looking, looking. All right, taking down notes, and then what will happen is. You may say something out of line, or you might do something that's not right, and a demon is like, ah, look, look, he's done that wrong, right, right. There's a little crack, there's a little crack in his armour, there's a little chink in his armour, there's a way in, there's a way in. And what they do, they get a little wedge, put it in that little crack, 
right? And they start to hammer away at it and make that crack bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the more evil spirits will start to come to attack you and get through that gap and start to, to tear your life down. Background demons. And then what happens is you think, hold on, I was praying every day last week and this week I've only prayed once. What's happened? Or why do I feel not on fire for God this week? Last week I was on fire for God. What happened is, background demons were taking down notes. You said something wrong. You said something negative. You, you had a bad mindset. You, you done something that you shouldn't be doing. And the background demons came in and they started to open up that crack in your armor and other evil spirits come in and start to attack you full blown and steal things from you. And before you know it, you're in sin big time and you don't even know how you got there background demons so what am i trying to say when you're when you're living for god on fire everything's perfect just be wary of background demons because they're always looking for a way to get in they're like reconnaissance demons if i could put it that way the kingdom of darkness sends out these background demons or these background demons or reconnaissance demons to to to, to get the information to see what's going on to check you out ah you know where's his weak spot where's his weak spot and they, they go back to the kingdom of darkness with their finders and say you know what there is no weak spot at the moment, but we'll keep an eye on him and see. We'll keep, don't worry, we'll keep an eye on him. You know when someone, you know when they say, oh, you know, the, the, the police send a tail out for someone. They say, you know, tail that person. You know, he's suspicious or, or he, you know, he's on our radar. You know, tell him, follow him in your car. See what he's doing. See his movement, movements. Write down his movements. That's what these background demons do. And you need to be aware of them. But be aware of them because... For some people, they don't realise that background demon, that they don't realise how far away from God they are. They don't realise how messed up they are. Yeah, they don't even realise it because what background, what demons do as well, oh, this is going to get too, too deep. But what demons do, they numb you to where, you are, where you're at. This is powerful, right? You see, this is what happens to us as sons of God. We know something's wrong. And we know the enemy's stealing stuff from us. He's stealing our peace. He's stealing our joy. He's stealing our relationship with God. He's stealing all this stuff from us. And we sit there and we're watching it. And we're not doing nothing about it. It's like someone coming in, a burglar coming in. It's like you're in your house, a burglar comes in and starts stealing your TV, you're stealing your, 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 your whatever, you're stealing your gold, your silver, steal your, stealing your, your microwave oven. <laughs> and you're standing there watching and not doing nothing about it. That's what happens to us as Christians. The devil just like, tries to numb us to the evil we're doing or try to numb us to the madness we're doing and the way we're living. He tries to numb us to it. And as he numbs us to it, we're not saying nothing to the enemy as he's stealing things from us and we're watching him, letting him do it where our life is going down the pan, down the toilet and we're not even saying nothing. Let me show you something. As soon as something's going wrong in your life, Okay, as soon as something's mad going on, don't stand there and let the enemy steal your joy. Don't let the enemy start stealing your peace, stealing your relationship with God. Say, hey, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that evil spirit that is stealing my joy, stealing my peace. That evil spirit that is trying to sow discord in my heart and trying to sow division between me and God. I rebuke you. I cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. You're a thief. You've been found. And according to the Bible, it says that, you, that when a thief is found, he has to repay seven times what he's stolen. That was a quick prayer there, but it's powerful. Quote scripture, drag that demon up because if you don't drag that demon up, he's going to steal everything away from you. Next thing you know, you're in a mental asylum. Next thing you know, you're a drug addict. Next thing you know, you're, 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 you're just, you're just, you're. <laughs> That's how deep it is. I'm rambling again, am I? There was an, I had a comment uh, yesterday, I think it is, and someone said, they like when I ramble. <laughs> I think when I'm rambling, there's, there's a lot of knowledge and information and, and, and there's a lot of the spirit of God when I start rambling. But I know that, you know, that's probably must have helped somebody out, that ramble there. Um, anyway, as I was saying, beware of background demons. Identify them, see them, be wary of them because they will try to crack your... your they will try to enter your life and steal and, and send more demons, reinforcements to steal things from your life. So be aware of background, background demons. It's Robert, an ambassador for Christ. As you know where I go, the kingdom goes. Remember, as usual, like, subscribe, share. Check out I Am Colin Edwards, vlog 6.5 about rags to riches. It's a great uh, vlog. Check it to the end. The testimony does it at the end. Powerful. The whole thing's amazing. So go check that out. See you guys in the next video. If you're still here, stay blessed.